Hello there and welcome to The Bunker. I'm Lloyd Evans and it's time for another voicemail. This voicemail is from Tori. Let's hear what Tori has to say. Hey Lloyd, um, I wanted to call today. Uh, my name is Tori Williams. I disassociated myself about a year and a half ago and I've been trying to be pretty active in the ex-Jehovah's Witness community. I'm being shunned by both of my parents and a few of my siblings. Um, the question I had for you today is, I just found out that one of my brothers, um, my fleshly brothers, got disfellowshipped and I didn't know about it. And here I am, me and my sister are disassociated and he didn't try to reach out to us or anything. Long story short, my sister finally got a hold of him and he said that yes, he did get this fellowship, but he has no interest in ex-Jehovah's Witness uh, society or bashing Jehovah's Witnesses or anything like that. And he's gonna be reinstated as soon as he possibly can. This is the second time he's been disfellowshipped. And I was just, it's so exhausting uh, that he's out, but he's not mentally out. And I was just wondering if you thought that, that now would be a time where maybe we could, uh, since he'll be far away from the Jehovah's Witnesses being disfellowshipped, if now is a good time to try to push the issue or if that will just turn him off more. Well, just let me know what you think and you can use this on your channel. Um, and I wanted to let you know that how much you've inspired me as well and you are a big part of me leaving. And uh, I don't know what I would do without the online presence of the ex-Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you very much indeed, Tori. That was an excellent message. And uh, thank you for those kind words as well. What to do? Um, there's not much you can do, I'm afraid. This is the sad thing about Jehovah's Witness indoctrination. It can stay with you whether you're a Jehovah's Witness or not. And this is one of the ironic things because in the early days of doing this channel, I used to get all sorts of messages from people saying, oh, why are you even bothering, Lloyd? Why are you bothering making these videos all you're doing is providing an echo chamber for ex-Jehovah's Witnesses who already agree with you because Jehovah's Witnesses can't be argued with they can't be persuaded now to a certain degree that's true although judging by the emails and the messages and the comments I get on my channel there are people there are believing Jehovah's Witnesses who are stumbling on these videos and the videos put out by other XJWs and they're waking up as a result because they're maybe at a point in their lives where they're ready to start seeing what the other side of the argument is. There are also people who are disfellowshipped who perhaps are living in a state of fear and torment, perhaps for years or decades, hating themselves and fearing an imminent Armageddon, thinking that Armageddon is coming and when it comes, they're going to be destroyed because they're disfellowshipped. So my channel isn't just to help Jehovah's Witnesses it's also, if you think about it, to help a good chunk of ex-Jehovah's Witnesses who are POMI, physically out, mentally in, which is now the situation in which your brother finds himself. But the thing is, as distressing as it is to have a brother who's in that situation, almost like a purgatory of believing but also not being in the organization. As distressing as it is, as I've said on many other voicemails, this is a journey that he needs to take. You just can't take it for him. Just because he's disfellowshipped doesn't mean he isn't indoctrinated. That is the sad 
fact. And you can't force someone to go on such a huge journey of abandoning their faith or at the very least questioning their beliefs if they're not ready. If your brother isn't ready, and it sounds like he isn't, sounds like he wants to carry on believing, you can't force him. I'm sorry, there's there really isn't anything that you can say, especially if he's not reaching out to you. If he does reach out to you, things are a little bit different. Then you have some degree of control. Then you're able to be honest and kind and loving. And if an opportunity to were to present itself, either for you or any of your other siblings, one thing I might be tempted to say to your brother is that if, if he has any doubts that he's been harboring over the years, now would be a good opportunity to explore them, wouldn't it? Because let's face it, this is an organization that makes people bury their doubts, makes people wait on Jehovah. In other words, pretend your doubts don't exist and just kind of wish them away, <laughs> bury your head in the sand. And I think as well, when it comes to doubts, I mean, the fact that your brother's been disfellowshipped twice might indicate that at some level he's never taken this religion seriously. If he were really, really taking it seriously, how come he's been disfellowshipped twice? I mean, maybe it's just momentary weakness, you know? Or maybe at some level he doesn't believe it. But that's the thing with cognitive dissonance. You can not believe it at some level, but also believe it. And so if he were to reach out to me, or I'm saying if, <laughs> if I were a relative of his, either yourself or one of your siblings, if he were to reach out, I would probably say, um, have you asked yourself why you've been disfellowshipped twice and whether it might be because at some level you're not convinced that this is the truth? And don't you think before you get reinstated, this would be a good opportunity to make certain for yourself that this is the truth so that when you do get reinstated, you can do better, quite frankly, at taking it seriously. And the thing to remember as well is that scrutinizing your beliefs and reviewing them objectively, including seeing what critics have to say, is a win-win scenario, as I've mentioned before. Because if you find out that your beliefs are true and that they can withstand any scrutiny whatsoever, your faith will be rock solid. You'll be like a spiritual Goliath. <laughs> Nothing will be able to dissuade you from your beliefs. And you might even not get disfellowshipped again. <laughs> if, on the other hand, it turns out that you're being lied to and exploited and manipulated, wouldn't you rather be able to do something about it? Win-win situation. But if he's shunning you, you might not be able to have that conversation. It depends who he's in contact with. It sounds like he's in at least some contact in order to be able to communicate his wish to not bash the witnesses. I would say this isn't about bashing the witnesses. You don't have to bash the witnesses, but don't you think it's worthwhile finding out whether your religious beliefs are actually true or not? And the only way you're going to find that out is by subjecting them to scrutiny. But again, it might be that he's not even in a position to have that level of conversation. Maybe he is, he's, he's mentally so deep in that even that sort of conversation would be distressing for him. This is something where, as unfortunate as it is, people need to be in control of their own journey, even if they're currently at a place in their journey where they are unable to even think about breaking free or scrutinizing their beliefs. But that's everything I have to say. I hope I've answered your question. 
to at least some level of satisfaction. If anyone else would like to leave a voicemail, the address to visit is speakpipe.com forward slash cedars. Please indicate clearly if you don't want to have your message read out on the channel. But that's all I have for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the Lloyd Evans channel for more such videos. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>